in Divine Flirt. They stand well for fillies and mares. Racing. Fortune's luck was shifting around in the stalls and missed it slightly. Spring in a step, though, showing exactly that. Won the start. Divine Flirt accelerating. Burns are off and coming over. Divine and Anna. So Divine Flirt from Divine and Anna right at a girth. A length and a half away. Spring in a step. The speed only. Modest going up to the back from Forever Classic. Invincible Ruby three deep. Charming Bell getting back in the middle. Over on the inside, Fortune's luck from Sea Champ. And last in a very compact affair is Miss Intention. Well, no more than four lengths covers the field now, and so a move comes around the outside by Chris Parnham, and he sets Forever Classic alight. Wasn't happy at all with the dawdling speed. Forever Classic takes off now, and at the 450, races clear of Divine Flirt, Divine and Anna. All of a sudden, they're all off the bridle hunting. Fortune's luck, Invincible Ruby followed further back, Charming Bell. Forever Classic, though, with a handy lead at the 300 mark, led by more than two on Divine Flirt. Divine and Anna's gone. Charming Bell, Invincible Ruby trying hard over on the inside fortunes luck makes ground divine flirt comes at forever classic they went to the hundred divine flirt hits the front now from forever classic trying to come back but divine flirt too good divine flirt beat forever classic third spring and a step from fortunes luck misintention divine and Anna followed home further back see a champ charming bell and invincible ruby in an uncharacteristic performance knock right up to run a distant last Divine flirts the winner ridden by Osti Galati for David Harrison first up. Austin wanted to lead and just control things and walk, but Chris Parnham said, I'm having none of that. And he decided to go, but Galati remained composed and Divine Flirt picked off Forever Classic in the last little bit. Spring and her step has run third and fourth home will be Fortune's luck. One seven. Eight, five. So a winning return here by this daughter of playing God out of O'Flirty. That's a third now from nine. Owned by David and Jenny Harrison, Ron O'Malley, Gerald Ryan, Keith Carroll Holly, Lex and Shirley Piper, Graham and Megan Donovan, O Kitty, M Delina, and uh, written by Austin Galati. Uh, picks up another when he's been in fabulous form and uh, probably one of the most, in fact, the most improved apprentice in WA Austin. And uh, certainly. Um, Riding a lot of winners around the provincial and indeed the country circuit. Forever Classic is by Piero from Reply Churlish, Nev Parnham, Chris Parnham for Nev Carroll and Parnham and Santo Waliato. And Spring in Her Step is by Sir Prancelot from Show Me Love, trained by Grant and Delana Williams for Tony Patrizzi and written by the pontiff Paul Harvey. 1785, the numbers here after the running of the fifth. Race six over 1200, the Colts Gelding's end tyres running three o'clock and two Alaska lot is the scratching out of the first leg of this afternoon's quaddy. As we wait for more information to come through here after this first up victory of Divine Flirt, who ran $3 on the uh, WOP starting favourite from Forever Classic, 440 spring in a step, $18. OK, let's uh, head downstairs now, joining Brit margins there. Brit, half a length, one and a quarter, 114 Three five, they really just jog trotted early on. Thirty five five seven, the last six hundred, and Austin Galati just continues to improve and improve in the saddle. He certainly does, making the most of opportunities, and looking forward to hearing his description of how that race unfolded. Because as Bert joins me now from the David Harrison Yard, it was a, a bit of an ugly race to watch. How did you view it? Yeah, it was a little bit ugly at the start. The, the plan was to box seat, but obviously no one went there, and then he's probably going a little slow, but he tries to rate it as best he could he let that horse go which is great turned out really well what were your thoughts watching live when the other horse the Parnham horse came to the front and what were your thoughts at that stage of the race I wasn't too concerned because as I said the plan was always to box seat anyway but I mean once that had got going it had spent some petrol getting there and I thought she'll just keep chase she gives like she's we haven't seen her at the races since December last year did you have a bit of an extended time in the paddock not really, she's just a bit quirky. She's um, she's a very difficult horse at home to ride. David does a lot of um, you know work with the buggy, taking her around, you know, no rider on. She does the gallops and then also the treadmill, so she's just, just difficult. Is that just behaviourally? She's just a hard horse to ride? Yeah, it's just stressy, very stressy. Yeah, but she's settling down good and um, coming around. He's figured out just some nice keys to her. Well done. Yep, thanks, Brett. Bert from the David Harrison Yard. Now let's get a word from Austin Galati. Austin, a uh, bit of a funny watch there, that race. The race changed complexion a couple of times. How did it unfold for you? Yeah, she jumped pretty good. Um, she can get a bit keen in the running. So I 
just let her get to the front quite easily with her jump and then just let her travel and she can give her a pretty good kick. Bert was saying that she's a bit of a difficult mare behind the scenes. How was she to ride? Was she, did she have some quirks? She wasn't too bad, but she likes getting it her own way. But um, I actually didn't mind when Miss, uh, Chris Pynham come and cross me. I was told to sit box seat, so I was box seat for half the race. And then, nah, she ended up getting out and getting home good. Seven winners on the weekend, winner in town today. Uh, really hitting form lately. Yeah, no, it's going really well. You're doing a good job. Well done. Thank you. Cheers. There is Austin Galati. Rides Divine Flirt to victory for David Harrison. Takes out race number five.